Hello, this is Eric Wamsley, Systems Engineer with Nutanix. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows XP onto a cluster running Nutanix AHV as the hypervisor. This cluster is also running Nutanix Acropolis 5.5 and Nutanix Prism Central 5.5. Please note that Windows XP is no longer supported by Microsoft and is not supported by Nutanix. So this is an unsupported video. I'm merely showing you this video because some customers do have the need to still run Windows XP and there are some questions about how to install Windows XP on a Nutanix AHV cluster. When installing Windows XP you will have to obtain the KVM drivers because Nutanix does not include the drivers for Windows XP again because Windows XP is no longer supported. To download the drivers you can go to your favorite search engine and search for Windows Vert I.O. drivers. The second link should bring you to the Windows Vert I.O. drivers on the fedoraproject.org website. If you scroll down to the direct download section, you'll just want to download this first ISO file here. Again, just get the ISO file is usually the easiest. I'm not going to show you the whole process through this video. If you do need to know how to upload ISO images to Prism Central, there is another video that I've created for that process. I'll link it in the video here and below in the comments. Once you have your Windows XP ISO and the KVM Vert IO drivers uploaded to Prism Central, you'll want to go to the Explore page, go to Virtual Machines, and select the Create VM button. In the new window, you'll want to put the XP machine's name. Optionally, you can put a description. Tell it how many vCPUs you want it to have, how much RAM. Under Disks, go to Add New Disk, and we're going to add the C drive. You will need to make a change here. Under Bus Type, Windows XP does not support SCSI drives. You'll need to go to IDE. So please be sure to change this to IDE, otherwise the installation process will not be able to continue. Select your storage container and put a size for the virtual disk. Next to the CD-ROM drive, hit the pencil icon. Change the operation to clone from image service and change the image to your Windows XP ISO image that you've uploaded to the cluster. Click the Update button. Go to the Network Adapters section. Select Add New NIC. Select the VLAN that you want it to go on. Hit Add. If there's any other additional changes you need to make, please go ahead and make them here. Select the Save button. Prism Central will go ahead and tell the cluster to create the virtual machine with the information you provided. The VM has now shown up here. Select the checkbox next to the virtual machine's name. Go to Actions, Power On. Give the system a moment to power on the virtual machine. The green dot indicates that the virtual machine is now powered on and we can also see that it's been assigned to a host. With the checkbox still selected next to the Windows XP VM, go to Actions, Launch Console. This will open up either a new tab or a new window based on your browser settings. And we can see that it is already booted into the Windows ISO image. Please allow for the initial setup to occur. Once all the drivers and everything is loaded, it will scan and see that there is a hard drive. You'll notice the 40 gig hard drive I gave it is there. Press the enter button to install. You can select whichever NTFS settings you want. I'm going to go with the quick format. 
allow the formatting process to occur. Now you get to sit back and relax and watch some progress bars with me. I'm going to go ahead and show you the entire process, but feel free to skip ahead. When the system reboots, you do not need to do anything. The installation process will continue automatically.
your computer will be faster and more reliable. The installation will ask for more information. Go ahead and fill these fields in. Hit next. If you want to change this information, you can. Change the date time to match your settings. Don't forget to mount your zip disks.
allow your computer to reboot again automatically. It may ask you to change the screen size, go ahead and hit OK, and then hit OK again. Enjoy the amazing animations. I'm just going to hit next through all the prompts. Not right now. You can give it a name and hit finish. Let it get into the uh, desktop. It may take a moment for it to kind of recognize all the devices and everything. Once the desktop is stabilized, we'll want to install the drivers. You can close out all the prompt balloons. Right click on my computer, go to manage, go to device manager. You'll see that there's several devices that need drivers. Go back to Prism Central. With the VM still selected, go to actions, go to update, scroll down to disks. We'll eject the Windows XP ISO image. Scroll back down to disks, hit the pencil icon next to CD-ROM, change the operation to clone from image service, select the KVM vert IO drivers, select update, verify under disks that there is a size here and it shows that it's mounted. Click the Save button. Go back to your Windows XP console screen. It does automatically mount and it looks like Auto Run also launched. Go ahead and close this window out. Go back to Computer Management. We're going to install the driver for the network adapter. Do Update Driver. We don't need it to search Windows Updates. You can tell it to install the software automatically, and it should find the drivers for the network adapter. I did notice when I was testing this that the network adapter drivers do take a little bit longer than you would think. Even if you do manually go and select the folder that the drivers are in, it still takes the same amount of time.
click finish. There are several other devices that don't have drivers. The next one I want to install is the PCI device. This is actually the balloon driver. So select update driver. We do not want it to select drivers from Windows Update. Select software or install the driver automatically. Let it scan and install the balloon driver. Hit the finish button. The computer still does have two other devices that don't have drivers. There are no drivers available at this time for Windows XP. But the computer should function automatic or function normally. Let's go ahead and test networking. It appears we can get out to the internet. Go to my computer and see what it shows. I do have the C drive, and it is 40 gigs in size. The Nutanix guest tools do not work on Windows XP. Again, as stated at the beginning of the video, Windows XP is not supported by both Microsoft or by Nutanix. This video was just to show you how to install Windows XP inside of Nutanix AHV hypervisor. You should be able to use the machine as desired. Good luck. Thank you.